guys welcome back to the video. So as you can tell by the title, today we're doing a five inches subscriber setup tour video. So uh, yeah, hit five inches subs. Uh, well, a little while ago, but I'm 540 now, and um, yeah, I'm gonna be doing it today. Just haven't got around to doing it, but uh, yeah, not uh, well, you wouldn't know I'd be doing this video, I haven't announced it, but yeah, I'm gonna be doing this for you for 500 subscribers. Obviously, I'll do it at different like uh, like times, um, like milestones, but yeah, I'm gonna be doing it today and uh, showing you. Obviously, I'm 14, so that's why 14 in the title, but um, yeah, I'm gonna be showing you that now, so uh, yeah, let's get into this. In the sky, gazing far into the night I raise my hand to the fire But it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining through It's true, baby let the light shine through If you believe it's true, baby won't you let the light shine through Right then guys, this is it. So uh, yeah, this is my setup. I've got two monitors, obviously a PC and an Xbox. So uh, yeah, this is how it looks from the front. It's pretty nice. Um, right, I'm going to start from the left. I'm going to go through everything. I don't know the names of everything off by heart, but uh, like some of it I do, some of it I don't. But everything will be down in the description that I can do. Like say it's old, then I might not uh, ever find where I got it or whatever. But everything I can... I'll try and put in the description, so uh, yeah, so um, we'll start off on the left, so uh, over on the left we've got my microphone, so um, this is actually an Amazon uh, pop filter, it just lifts up and down, uh, if I pull it out, because obviously I sit around here, so if I pull it out like that, uh, it's a Blue Snowball microphone in, uh, I think it's Blue Snowball Ice, I'm not, yeah, Blue Snowball Ice, if you see that there, sort of. Um, can't really see because the lighting, but yeah, blue snowball ice, pretty nice. And then this like screws on and off for the pop filter. There, it just um, just uh, makes it sound a bit better quality. Like your peas don't like pop as as that's the the name. Obviously, when I have it pulled out for recording, the wire comes out, which is uh quite annoying. But well, I suppose I'm recording, so it doesn't matter too much. We'll put that back there. And uh, we'll move on to the speakers. My speakers are Logitech. Like I said, I don't actually know the exact name. And uh, if you look back there, there's all wires there. But yeah, there's the other Logitech speaker. If I go around here and under there, you can see that it says Logitech there. And if we uh, zoom back out, we've got what the first monitor on the left is actually a little bit higher. I'll explain that now. But it's an AOC monitor. If you go there, it's uh, 24 inch. No, 22 inch, sorry. I don't... Uh, usually go for a big monitor, just uh, stick to like a small one, just so, um, I don't know, I just always have had a smaller one, so I've gone for that, if you, uh, you can't really see up in the top right of the monitor, it actually says E227OSW, that's the model name, so AOC E227OSW, if you wanted to get that exact one, I do recommend it, but however, the uh, viewing angles are a bit bad, so if I go over here, no, uh, about there, it loses its colour a bit, so you just need to be in, uh, level with it. But for this one, this is my Xbox uh, like monitor. I've got the Finlux monitor. It's uh, very old, so I'm going to be changing it for my birthday. But yeah, for now, this is what I'm going with. On the side of it, if you can see... Uh, how can I get that? There, there is a... Um, a DVD player, so that's that's how old it is. Now they do, they just don't have DVD players on the back. And then uh, my my uh, webcam is the Logitech C920 webcam. It is probably it's genuinely one of the best. It's uh, fifty quid, but it's so so nice. Uh, as you like see in my webcam videos, they are it's pretty good. And then behind it, I've just got a um, a like a desk lamp. It's pretty bad to be honest. It's literally mouldy. It's uh, dirty and stuff, so old, but it does the job. Obviously, I'm, it's not on now, but when I do turn it on, it's for my uh, lighting from my webcam. And then holding the two monitors up, as you can see, if I go back a bit, 
there is like nothing underneath there it's just uh like like sort of like hovering as you can see that is because of the uh, uh it's actually upside down don't know the name uh not sure what the name is of the make but um or the model number or uh model name but it's actually um dual monitor stand so that's how it like keeps it above there that's actually gone off i might as well turn that back on um uh, yeah so that's what's holding them up and then if we go around the back it's uh if you can see that it's got um one two three four uh like screw in places for uh it to like stand up and then the reason why if you if go back the reason why it's a little bit taller and then shorter is because they are both 22 inches finlux and the alc but uh the placement of if i go back around here the placement of where this is in like comparison to the screen so this is in right in the middle of that so there's the whole thing it's right in the middle on that one it's more down the bot uh more up the top the placement of it so imagine it being there instead of there so that if you can if you understand what i mean so the next one the next monitor i'll get it will be level out which is quite annoying but it still does the job you know so can't really complain i do like it um i'm not sure whether to have when i do replace that monitor whether to have them both the same with that height or that height i'm not sure but i'll have to like test it and all you have to do is loosen that and pull it up or down wherever you want it i've actually put it upside down because i've put it on this shelf that shelf there uh, there i've put it on there upside down so it looks uh well it's just because you don't see the pole there we do see wires so that's one like downside wire management uh well i'll get into that in a sec for my uh keyboard and mouse if i wait there just do that uh i don't want to go dim uh, uh keyboard and mouse are from the same thing uh same company they are actually they're not the best to be honest um don't don't game so uh i don't have a mechanical keyboard or anything like that just have a uh, normal uh i suppose you could say it's a gaming keyboard because of the way uh, uh gaming mouse and keyboard because of the way they built it but to be honest i just uh i'll put it down in the description came with the pc it's my first ever pc and uh use it for homework and recording so i don't, I don't actually game but game on there on my xbox and uh, the, I got a pet charm uh, mouse mat for the keyboard and mouse because it just looks, it looks, I'd say it looks better than just the keyboard having a mouse, to be honest, uh, a mouse mat, just the mouse having a mouse mat, sorry. So uh, yeah, that's that. So that's the whole desk, actually. Uh, one more thing, I've got a coaster and the Finlux TV uh, remote. Oh, and um, up there is the uh, Triton what are they triton i'm not sure i can't think of their name triton headset i don't actually use this anymore but i leave it up there because i uh i I'll actually get them up here uh i use these this is the stupidest thing you've ever heard but this these earphones are better than those headphones sad to say it because they obviously cost what 20 25 quid or something like that uh not too much but they're better than them they are amazing head uh, headphones i don't know how i just picked them up used them because my ears were getting hot in them they're not the greatest of headsets picked them up used them and they were brilliant so very happy with that and also this remote here is uh the color changer so if we go under here i can change it to whatever color you want change it like that uh i'm gonna leave it on probably fade Fade goes through a lot of different colours. If I can click it, there we go. Fade there, so that'll go through a few. Put that back up there. So, uh, yeah, that's the top of the desk, really, and also some just absolute mess up there. Never bothered. I've never used anything in those parts, but just up there. Don't know. And I'm not going to go through all that. It's just, like, school stuff and a uh, lamp that just doesn't get turned on. Right, under the desk is not too much, nearly done here. It's been uh, about a uh, 10 minute video so far, 9 minute, I don't know. And uh, yeah, that's the top, looking pretty nice. Obviously, 14, so don't have a lot of money, just uh, splash the cast on the best of everything. But for now, it's actually decent. And then underneath, it's where the wires get a bit messy. 
there. I've tried to cable manage them best I can, but the problem is this PC is needs to be over there because I need my leg room here because I sit here on this side and the wires come from those two plugs there up and then this one I'm going to show you my cable management up there if you can see that it's not the best actually I might uh, this one I'm going to do actually uh, forget that and change it to white I think that'll probably be the best for now so if you look there what I've actually done, I'm going to get on the floor for this. So the plugs come up. I've got plugs behind there. This is just to either use it as a footrest or when my mates come over, I can use, uh, they can sit on that if they want. So, uh, yeah, my main plugs is the left one. As you can see, that's turned on. It goes up to this white wire here. And then, uh, no, sorry, this, uh, the right white wire goes up and it stays on top of the desk with, uh, like, clip ties and all the like cable management gear and then it goes uh, into this uh, extension lead with one two three four five six more uh, like slots for cables you can put any uh, anything you want on there obviously UK uh, like port things and then all the cable management is I'm gonna flip you upside down uh, no 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 I'm gonna try my best to show you all that if you can understand what I mean it's all like uh, stuck on with these sort of things I'll show you there. They like, or oh, there might be like a a glow of LED running through there, but they're like zip ties and sticky, so adhesive, so they just stick on. Wires stay on there like that. So from up here, you can't see them for when you're playing. So it's quite nice. But then obviously by the PC, there's about 15 million wires. Can't do much about that for now. But yeah, that's uh, how it looks. And then I've got a makeshift like stand for my xbox it's quite annoying because uh i don't have anything i put it on i tried to think of something but me and my dad just made some cut to night box uh things and it stays quite nicely and it's also got like uh air holes air can get back in and out if it needs to and i've got two games these might believe it or not make only two games i have on disc right now because uh you might have seen it's call of duty Infinite Warfare and Battlefront. You might have seen that I had, if I go back up here, Black Ops 3 Hard Edition. I've actually traded in the disc for that, but I've got it on the Xbox with half price with my mate, so it worked out. When when Black Ops 3 sort of died, it's, I wouldn't say it's dead, but like Fortnite, FIFA 18 and 17, you know, I started to play different games, but Black Ops 3, you know, Prestige Master, I've done it all. And uh, yeah, Onto the PC now. Uh, I don't know the specs. I was going to learn them, but I thought if you're really interested, which maybe some of you are, uh, then they're down in the description. And it's my first ever PC, like I said. It is not great. It, uh, I can't run... Well, I've tried Fortnite on it, and I can't run it. It's just not good enough. But uh, it is good for, obviously, doing my homework, so words or researching and all that, blah, blah. And, uh, yeah, it's good for that, but... Not very interesting for you. Um, yeah, it's, it came with the PC. Uh, the PC came with the mouse and the uh, keyboard as well, so it's pretty nice. And then um, also on the top, we've got my scuff controller. If you haven't seen that, I unboxed it, so I'll put that in the description if I remember. Um, it's very nice. Scuff Infinity One, four paddles on the back, A, B, X, and Y, and uh, yeah, very nice, grippy, and all that. I'll leave a uh, link, like I said, if I can, in the description for that. And then, as you see, I got a Venom uh, docking station charging for two Xbox One controllers. The original Xbox One controller, the black one, and then the updated white, I think it's called Luna White. I'm not going to drop it then. It's actually pretty nice. And then the Venom backpack uh, charger, battery pack charger things, pretty good. And uh, yeah, gold, black, white. It is very nice, but obviously I don't use it anymore. I haven't used it for ages. But when that goes on charge, I don't know why it's gone red, it should be green. When that goes on charge, when these run out, I just replace them so I can, uh, you know, carry on gaming with this one. This is obviously my best one. And, uh, yeah, uh, that Venom, I'll put that in the description if you want. Very nice. Xbox One. Uh, just the original. Actually, is it? I don't know if it's the day. It's not the day one edition. I know it's not that, but I don't know if it's the same model. Did they change anything from when I bought it? I'm not sure. 
the two games, I should probably find a place to put them. There is probably somewhere better. And then on the right, obviously, I've got my stool. And um, this is like a cable. Because if you look inside there, there's actually so much cables. But you can actually uh, take the lid off this. Recommend this, actually. Uh, you do this and take that off. And take that off and then inside is all your cables but that just looks ugly you don't want that stuff in the corner so let me put that back on if i can one-handed nice then uh, only three cables come out coming out two there one there and then that goes up to um my uh lava lamp that is on my windowsill i just don't ever use it small lava lamp and then uh, that is the main like uh port thing wire whatever i don't even know the name and then that is the lamp that goes up for that lamp there. So, yeah, I think I've covered everything. There's the cable management again. To be fair, I spent a good few hours doing that, sticking it all up there. Because when you come out, if I show you that, you can't see anything until you get to, until you get to that. So, when you see that, it's ugly. But from up there, to be honest, I'd say that's pretty good. Obviously, I've got a few few wires, uh, speakers, microphone, monitors. Those wires from there, there it looks quite bad. Right, I was just rambling on about uh, wires then and my storage ran out. But uh, yeah, I was saying about how the back uh, looks a little bit bad because of the wires hanging out. But can't do much about it because some of them are too short to like clip up a little bit higher. Because I can't get the like uh, length I want to. But... It's fine uh, for now, so yeah, that's my ki uh, gaming setup for 2018, age 14, and uh, yeah, if you enjoyed it, please hit a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. Peace.